Road 2013. On this nine day trip we're going to see some spectacular country. We'll see that things can go pear shaped at no notice. And we'll also visit a ghost town that's been responsible for many tragic deaths over the years. Grab your gear and let's go. Well the criteria for Desert Road is simply enough. Someone picks a spot on a map, it's got to be in a desert, it's got to be remote, at least 250 kilometres from fresh water and fuel, and it's got to be challenging. And this is going to prove to be all those things and more. big group that's uh, left Perth this morning, there's 16 of us. Um, at one stage there I followed my gut instead of the GPS and I've taken a wrong turn and ended up in some farmer's property, come to a dead end and had to turn around and go back. So that was a bit embarrassing but uh, nonetheless got my bearings and uh, we got underway again. past uh, Mount Augustus later on today. Mount Augustus is a monolith bigger than uh, Uluru or bigger than Ayers Rock. The only difference is that most of Mount Augustus is uh, below the ground. We're here at the Mount Augustus Tourist Resort, well, that's what it says on the map anyway. Um, fuel is an issue for us, there's some long bounds without uh, refuelling. Uh, we've got to refuel here and now get to Tom Price. The facilities here are pretty, uh, pretty prehistoric. Um, the Bowser doesn't work properly so we've got to stick it in Jerry's and then transfer it into our tanks. The Jerry's is the only way it can get some sort of accurate measure. Began to howl. I'm walking all night long and I'm a weary, weary man. Well, the rain fell down now and it washed across my brow. Said the moon it shone so bright, we walk right into town. Oh, well, end of the road for Jamie, I think. Uh... We think he's done the seal for the drive sprocket, lost all his oil, hasn't seized the engine but uh, we can't afford to run the bike the way it is so we'll tow him to uh, Ashburton Downs about 50 k's up the road here and then uh, come up with a strategy from there. Well we're here at uh, Ashburton Downs station, it's a 50 kilometre tow to get him here, uh, they've agreed to put him up overnight and uh, there's a flight out from Parapadu tomorrow. Uh, back to Perth and I guess Jamie will just have to organise uh, recovery of his bike in a few days time. It's been an interesting journey. Well we're currently here at Whitnoom. Whitnoom is a very uh, chequered history. Um, the town exists because of uh, the discovery of blue asbestos in the 1950s. The mine was operational for about 20 years and then they discovered that this stuff can uh, kill you many many years later if it enters the lungs. Um, the town's been degazetted, although the, there are a couple of people who uh, continue to stay here. There's no, no uh, utilities or amenities, there's no power or water. Well now we're actually in the heart of Whitnoom Gorge where the, uh, the stuff was extracted uh, out of the hillside. There's evidence of uh, the old mine here everywhere. They've made it bloody hard to get here. Uh, the road certainly isn't maintained and they've put a couple of obstacles in the way to try and prevent people from getting here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, where there's a will, there's a way. It's uh, pretty scenic. Uh, 
it's very deceptive. That's what it looks like in its raw state. And the gorge here is covered in the stuff. We're on the Skull Springs Road between Nullagine and Caroline Gorge. I never expected this water crossing, all the other creek crossings have been dry. So this caught us all off guard. I think it was just best to push the uh, 1150 through rather than take a chance. So uh, probably the smart thing to do I think under the circumstances. Well we're here at Caroline Gorge. We arrived last night after dark. Um, we've done more damage to bikes. Uh, it looks like there's three motorbikes with burnt out clutches trying to get uh, through this riverbed because that's what it is a riverbed during flood times it's extremely soft and hard going and uh, yeah blokes have burned out clutches so uh, another day of adventure by the look of it um, we'll leave here and uh, should arrive at Desert Queen Baths later on this afternoon There's a Queen Baths in the Rudor National Park. Uh, it's taken us 2,000 kilometres to get here. The next 18 kilometres is, uh, is the reason why I left the BMW 1200 at home. Well, this is my weapon of choice for this particular trip. Uh, I've left the 1200 at home because uh, some of the conditions are going to be pretty sandy and boggy. This trip, a Yamaha 600, uh, very much like me, um, functional but not much to look at. Welcome to Desert Queen Baths. After over 4,000 kilometres, uh, our journey is about to come to an end. Over the last number of days, we've experienced all sorts of different types of tracks and road conditions. Some have been very good. Others, like the uh, Jigalon Mission Track, not so good. And of course, there was that heavy sand up at Rudor National Park. But uh, I've enjoyed the trip, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Well, I told himself he's never coming back. Taking his toll, but he knew this time he had to go. So he packed his gun and he drove through the night. His sweet little baby sitting by his side, and the hot wind blew right through her head. 